In today's KFOX 14 community conversation, we want to welcome Bobby Russell Garcia. She is the Chief Human Resources Officer for the Isleta School District. Bobby, thank you so much thank for joining sure. us this morning. Sure. So today we want to talk about how the district handles inappropriate relationships between teachers and students. Now recently we did report on a math teacher who was arrested for this. So tell us how the district handles these cases and do you find it that it's happening more often? I won't say that I'm finding that it's happening more often in our district as it goes. But anytime there's an allegation of any form of inappropriate relationship with student and teacher, an investigation immediately ensues within the district. At that point, we place the employee on administrative leave and we contact the proper authorities that need to be contacted, whether that's TEA, the El Paso Police Department, Child Protective Services, just to ensure. And so who are you finding is mostly coming forward to alert the district? And maybe while it doesn't happen more often, maybe mm -hmm. the reporting of it is probably maybe happening more. Maybe you can tell us about that. But who's coming forward with these allegations? More often, it's, it's stakeholders. It's not generally students that come forward. It's maybe a teacher that sees something that just doesn't look right, doesn't feel right. Um, also, you have parents that sometimes come forward or community members that see things that they feel that doesn't look right or feel right. And so what does the student code of conduct stipulate when it comes to, you know, a lot of the time there's some false accusations. Right. I know you and I talked before for a previous story of mine about mm -hmm. these allegations when students are, um, they're false, they turn out to be nothing. How does the district handle that? So we haven't had too many of those, but when they do happen, it's handled under the student code of conduct. And what the student code of conduct outlines is it's considered mistreatment of others and it can result in an alternative placement at our behavior campus. Yeah, because it, again, at the end of the day, a teacher or whoever, because it doesn't just have to be teachers, right? right. It also, it's any uh, employee with right. the district mm -hmm. and um, it's it's kind of like innocent until proven guilty and right. they have to go through all of the, the court and legalities for that. Um, when it comes to the other side of the coin, um, if a teacher is being harassed by a student or you know, harassed by a student, how does the district handle that? It would be the same concept. An investigation would ensue at the campus level and then discipline would be given in, in accordance with the student code of conduct. And also ultimately that could be a discretionary placement on our behavior campus as well. That wouldn't be condoned just as it wouldn't be condoned if an employee was having an inappropriate relationship with a student. And does that mean like the student would get moved from campuses or vice versa with the teacher at It times? could potentially be an alternative placement, absolutely. And Bobby, talk to us about um, the district's policy when it comes to um, relationships with students and teachers when they've already graduated, because I know this is something you were telling me before mm -hmm. that is very unique to the Isleta School District. So even when a student has graduated, it, that is still not allowed. Absolutely. The Eastland Independent School District is unique in this regard. We take it a step further to ensure the safety of our students, not only when there are students, but after. We want to make sure that teachers don't cultivate a relationship with students. So our policy is students are off limits till they're 21 years of age and, 20, and two years post-graduation. That way we can make sure that there's no cultivation um, ensuing while students are enrolled in our schools. And you and the district still does keep track of that, right? I know last time I had asked, how do you keep track of a student that has graduated already, but you do still have people who come forward, right? Absolutely, we certainly do, and we do address it immediately. All right, well, Bobby, thank you so much for being with My us pleasure. and taking the time to sure. speak with us today. We'll have all that information. I also have that past story that I did do about those allegations on our website. If you're just tuning in and missed this conversation, we'll have it in its entire as well as other community conversations on kfoxtv.com. We'll be right back.